Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed astonishing chemical signatures in the atmosphere of the exoplanet K218b, a world about 120 light-years away that is roughly 8.6 times the mass of Earth and orbits a cool red dwarf star within its habitable zone. Spectral analysis detected methane and carbon dioxide, while ammonia appeared almost absent, strongly suggesting that beneath its hydrogen-rich atmosphere, a vast global ocean of liquid water may exist. This has led scientists to classify K218b as a potential Hycean world, a type of planet with a hydrogen-heavy atmosphere and a surface shrouded in ocean. Even more intriguing, Webb's instruments picked up a signal of dimethyl sulfide, a molecule that, on Earth, is produced only by living organisms, primarily by tiny plankton in our oceans. If confirmed, this would mark the first chemical trace of life beyond our solar system. And so, the question rises sharply before us. What if K218b is not just another distant planet, but the first whisper that we are not alone? Yet the sky remains eerily silent. For decades, with radio telescopes pointed toward the stars, we have not received a single unmistakable signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. This leads us to Enrico Fermi's famous question. Where is everybody? If life emerged on Earth and the universe is not uniquely tailored for us, shouldn't the galaxy already be full of thriving civilizations? Why then can't we detect them? One explanation is the idea of the Great Filter, the hypothesis that from single-celled microbes to a spacefaring civilization, there exists one or more nearly impossible evolutionary leaps. On Earth, it took over two billion years for life to evolve from simple cells to complex eukaryotic cells with a nucleus, a breakthrough that enabled multicellular organisms, intelligence, tool use, and eventually civilization. Perhaps most planets never make it past the microbial stage, or perhaps civilizations arise and then destroy themselves before they ever leave their home worlds. And then, there is the darker explanation, the dark forest theory. Imagine the universe as a vast, silent forest at night. Every civilization is both hunter and prey. To reveal yourself is to risk being destroyed by someone stronger. Therefore, everyone stays quiet. If this is true, the silence of the universe is not emptiness, but fear. And perhaps our own broadcasts into space have been far less cautious than we realized. Even if K218b is ultimately too extreme for life, its radius of 2.6 times Earth's may indicate high-pressure ices like those inside Neptune, and its hypothetical ocean may be far too hot. The discovery still marks a milestone. It proves that the universe contains far more diverse worlds than we once imagined, and that some of them may be capable of harboring life in forms we are only beginning to understand. Meanwhile, closer to home, our own solar system holds promising candidates. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, now on its way to Jupiter's icy moon Europa, will explore a hidden ocean beneath miles of ice, an ocean that may contain more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. On Earth, we have already discovered ecosystems that thrive without sunlight around deep-sea hydrothermal vents, relying purely on chemical energy. If life can survive boiling water, acidic lakes, freezing deserts, radioactive caves, and even the vacuum of space like the resilient tardigrade, then life could also survive beneath Europa's ice or inside Titan's thick methane-rich atmosphere. If humanity one day discovers even the simplest microbe beyond Earth, the impact will reshape our understanding of life, identity, and our place in the cosmos. In the end, the search for life among the stars is not only about answering whether we are alone, but about understanding who we are. The moment we learn that life exists elsewhere in the universe 
will be the moment we realize the true meaning of our own existence.